It was a great day, a lot of tape to learn from, so I'm excited to get in the film room and kind of just dial up those mistakes we made. Uh, by the end of the day, the O-line did great. I like the uh, competition that we had, and I like the juice that the, uh, that the defense brought. So uh, it's making us get better, and uh, it tells us to bring a better mindset to start a practice to the end. So they're getting us better, we're getting them better. It's just iron sharp as iron. Those are the mistakes in the pass pro. Jinx was, seemed to be upset about a couple of pass pro uh, Yeah, we, we had some of those. I had a play where I kind of try to reverse field. Shouldn't have, and I know better, but one of them things you can learn from, and I'm glad. <laughs> I'm gonna learn from it. <laughs> we saw you break through for a nice run, touchdown. Do you recall the, the blocks in front of you who kind of cleared that space for you? Excuse me? Do you recall who cleared the blocks in your first big big run where you broke through? I gotta I got give credit to the O-line tight ends. And I gotta give credit to all 10 guys, really. Uh, I just kind of grabbed the ball. Everybody, after I scored, everybody was saying like, good job and stuff, you know? And I mean, like, I'm glad, but at the same time, it's like, well, they blocked it for me and I kind of just ran through, did my thing. So I'm just glad that they're up front. Coach James was talking about the relationship that you and Keontae have built so far since he's been here. Like, can you just give us a little perspective on what that's been like? Iron sharpens iron. Uh, I feel like we do bring the best out of each other, and at the same time, we love to see each other win. That's the that's the best part. It's, it's genuine with, with all the RBs in the room, really. But for Keontae and I, and really Quincy too, we're kind of the vets in the room, and with that role, we kind of just teach each other things. Uh, you know, what did you, when I come off the field, I'm like, what did you see? Should I have gone here? Should I have gone there? And at the end of the day, we're all different running backs, so we, we understand that. But it doesn't hurt to, you know, give each other tips and, and take uh, information from each other and kind of just spit game. Any place in particular he's helped you? Uh, Pre-snap. Okay. Pre-snap, he really, uh, when he came, he really, he really uh, kind of, co what Coach James was t teaching us really, but Keontae really, told me to just look for a free hitter every play, you know? And it's something I was kind of doing, but at the same time, not really pull it, putting an emphasis on. And for him, that's one of his big things. He says like, some, sometimes when he lines up, the first thing he looks for is where the, where's the free hitter coming from? And what I took from that is it's good to have a plan when you're running. Of course, sometimes everything doesn't go to plan, but when the time comes, you, you at least want to have something in mind to be prepared for it. Mm -hmm. Coach Jinx has talked about what, looking for 1A, 1B this year in camp as opposed to running back by committee. Mm -hmm. Has that new goal changed the way that the preseason position battle has felt? Uh, at the end of the day, I've never really looked at it as, oh, I need to be the starting guy. I always attack practice with the mindset of, I'm going to get better today. I'm going to be better than I was yesterday, and I'm going to correct the mistakes that I made yesterday. So at the end of the day, I'm just trying to better myself and, and better the guys around me because at the because when we're all getting each other better, the, the whole running back room is elevating. And that's what makes other running backs want to come here is when you see people bringing each other up, you know, and uh, bringing the younger guys along. And if, you, if you're not doing that, then your room is not getting better. So at the end of the day, I want to see SC go. And it, it starts with our room. So getting each other better. So I've never really looked at it as kind of, oh, I need to be the guy this year. I've always looked at it as I'm going to be better than I was yesterday. Any of those young guys in particular stood out to you? All of them. BC, Matt Colombo has really been showing out. Uh, we have a saying in the running back room, Colombo always going to eat. <laughs> <laughs> That's because he's probably averaging like six yards this camp. But uh, I feel like every everybody in our room brings a work ethic, a blue collar work ethic, and, and is just ready to grind. What's that room like with so much turnover? A lot of familiar faces gone for you. Uh, of course, I miss my guys, but I mean, it is what it is, you know, they, they left to get better opportunities and I'm happy for them. But right now we're just focusing on us. And I mean, I still keep in touch with the guys, uh, Marquise and Steve. I kind of just, I just talked to Steve two days ago. He's loving it up there. So wish nothing but the best for him. Cool. Thanks, guys.